share them with you so you don't have to follow every single story. You just get to watch one video and know what's going on in the tech world. Up this week, rumors of an HTC tablet, Twitter for Android tablets might be getting legit, Apple TV might be getting a brand new fresh software upgrade, and the Xperia Z1 Mini looks to be a thing. This rumor roundup, let's go ahead and start rounding them up. According to a mysterious image leaked on China's Weibo, HTC is poised to unveil a tablet and it looks to be in the seven-ish range that essentially just looks like an HTC One that just went super fat. The first design of HTC One looked really good. The design of HTC One Mini looked really good. Presumably, it's gonna look pretty good on the HTC One Max. But on a seven-inch tablet, it looks like it might be too much of a good thing. It's got a weird aspect ratio. It's four by three, which you don't see in really many tablets anymore, save for the iPad. And sort of the metal on the sides just looks a little bit weird on a tablet format. And you got the boom sound speakers, presumably will make their way in. I've no doubt it's going to be a pretty kick-ass tablet, but it just looked weird from the picture. But I've got an open mind. Perhaps HTC will blow me away as they usually do with their devices. The build quality is usually awesome. So I'd expect the same thing from this as of yet unannounced, unnamed, and just rumored tablet. And if you were thinking about picking up one of those unannounced Android tablets, if you were to pick it up today, if it existed, you would find a native Twitter app that looked really bad. Essentially, it's the same Twitter app on the phones, just blown up. It looks like Android tablets are finally getting a full version of Twitter. So according to Android Next, they were just browsing around the IFA show floor, seeing what was there. And they happened to come across a Samsung Galaxy Note running a brand new version of Twitter. And it wasn't just the Twitter app that we've got on smartphones where it just looks giant. It was totally designed for Android tablets, complete with some of the features I really wanted, including landscape support, columns, and way, way more. It seems weird to say that it's finally coming to Android tablets. Android tablets are a thing. They're a popular thing. I don't know why Twitter was like, nope, we're just gonna drag our feet, use the phone app and just scale it up. So hopefully it's coming very, very soon. No idea why someone let it on the show floor at IFA, but if you look carefully at these trade shows, oftentimes you can find unreleased operating systems and new applications just sitting there out in the open that people forgot to wipe out. So if you're going to CES, that's a bit of advice. You might be the first one to find the new scoop. One of my favorite devices at my home is my Apple TV. And it looks like it's gonna be getting a brand new fresh coat of paint. All Things D says that the brand new software update is going to include a new AirPlay feature. It's going to allow you to stream your purchased content on someone else's television, which is kind of cool. Almost like a Chromecast, you'll reportedly be able to tell Apple TV to pull down a movie, TV show, or music from the cloud instead of just streaming it directly from your iDevice. So I imagine, though, that this is totally purely speculation. That was also going to redo the icons, make them look flatter in iOS 7-ish. I would also imagine that this new update is probably only going to work with the newer generation. Apple TV is the one with the updated chips that can show 1080p video. I love my Apple TV and ability to do that would be great as opposed to just streaming from your one device. Obviously, you can stream from the cloud without bringing a device with it. Uh, being able to do it on someone else's TV could be kind of cool and make the Apple TV Chromecast-ish. If this rumor is true, it looks like we'll see the new update hit the same day as iOS 7, which is September 18th. So Mini's phones are now a really popular thing. You got the S4 Mini, the HTC One Mini, and Sony wants to get in on that game. A new leak that came out last Tuesday points to a smaller Xperia Z1, and we saw it next to a full-size smartphone. According to the folks at Android Central, the specs are gonna actually remain pretty similar to what the Z1 is. Let's get all for that ginormous 20.7 megapixel camera, the pretty same powerful, beastly, and overall awesome Snapdragon 800 processor. The biggest trade-off, because there's got to be something, is going to be storage. The Z1 Mini is supposedly going to offer just 8 gigabytes of storage out of the box. And it's also going to have a smaller 4.3-inch screen that's going to ditch 1080p resolution and only bring 720p to the table. But it should also come at a lower price. So DigiWoo, which originally leaked the Xperia Z1 Mini, suggests we might have to wait, though, until January 2014 to finally see this phone, which I say pshaw. If it exists, I say we will see it before the holiday season when every phone kind of comes out. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Audible.com. You should already know what Audible.com is, but if you don't, they are the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment, which is a fancy word for saying just audiobooks. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from, downloaded to really any device you want, your iPod or MP3 player or Android device, and played anytime, anywhere. My favorite time to listen to them is in the car or whenever I can get my fat growing butt to the gym. You can choose from books in every genre, including science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, and you personally, romance. Because I know you like to get your blood pressure up. I also have a pretty awesome iPad app you should check out. It's a great way to listen to all your books. And if you want to get a free book and who doesn't, go to audible.com slash techno. Get you a free book. Again, that's audible.com slash techno. You get a free book of your choice. But again, audible.com slash techno for a free audiobook. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. I always love rounding up these rumors for you. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you like and didn't like about the video. And please give it a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. And of course, as always, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you next time.
What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions, and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.